Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build an armor closet. Now why this is so cool is because the closet is actually locked, it's private to you and the only way you can open it is by inputting the correct password. So as you can see in my hand right now, I've got a piece of paper which is renamed to crackers. If I go ahead and throw it in this hopper here, it's going to open up the door. So we can go ahead, get our armor, uh, we can just put it back on there. And then to close the doors, we simply just press the button here and then that has just locked them. So how cool is that? Now you can't actually press this button here to unlock the doors or anything. It must explicitly be the password. Before we start, I just want to remind you guys of the Redstone Hub. It's where you can find all my Redstone tutorials. The good thing about it is you're able to sort all my tutorials by either their category or difficulty. Now while you're watching the tutorial, you can find a list of the materials below. Clicking on them will actually take you to the wiki page. Now if you want to check it out, I'll put a card up on the screen right now, or you can go ahead and download the brand new app. Now let's get into the tutorial. So the materials that you are going to need is 11 redstone dust, 4 redstone torches, 3 redstone repeaters, 2 comparators, 2 droppers, 2 hoppers, 1 chest, 1 stone button, 2 iron doors, 2 armor stands, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we're going to do is place our doors because this is going to make it a whole lot easier for you to actually position this in your house. So let's go ahead and do this right now. So we're going to create a two high pillar with our blocks here. Then we're going to leave two spaces and then another two high pillar. And this essentially here is going to be your closet. So go ahead and get your doors. Actually dig out these two blocks below. Place two blocks below them and then place your doors on top of them. That will save you from breaking them later on. Then what we're going to do is go ahead, get this shovel out here, and we've got to dig a four wide by six long by three deep hole. Now where we actually start, you want to come in front of this left door here, go back one block, and this is where we're going to start. So you dig this out, and then we need to go three to the right here. So one, two, three. Then we need to go to um, five towards the back. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we need to go uh, three to the left here. One, two, three, and then back to the start. Now, obviously I can't see it, but we're basically digging out a hole here. Dig out that block there. Dig out the blocks in the center. And then dig this down two more layers. The first thing that we're going to do is create the payment system. So you want to come in front of this right pillar here, not under it, just one block in front of it here. We're going to place a chest down on that block there and then place our two hoppers on top. So crouch, jump and then right click. Do that again for the last one right on top there. And then you should be in front of this right pillar here now. We're going to go back down to the left of the chest, we're going to place a block and then diagonally up to the left here, we're gonna place a block there, and then in this corner, place a block. We're gonna get our comparator, make it coming out of this hopper here, make it go into this block there, get our redstone. We're gonna place it on top of this block here, and then down here. We're gonna lead that into a block, which then on the other side of it, place a redstone torch, block on top, block next to this chest here, redstone on top of that. Coming out of this block here, we're going to place a redstone repeater. We're going to lead that into a block. On the other side of it, place a redstone torch. Just after the torch here, we're going to place a dropper facing towards the left, and then we're going to face a dropper facing to the right going in basically they're going into each other so the faces 
in the middle here are touching, the front faces I mean. Coming out of this left dropper here, place a redstone comparator going towards the left there, place a block after it, then we're going to place a piece of redstone dust in front of this block here and then to the right. In front of this redstone here we're going to place repeaters facing towards the front. We're going to lead those repeaters into a block which then on top of those two blocks place your two redstone torches. Now this is actually going to open up the doors there. Now we've actually got to fix them, I made a slight mistake. So we want these doors to actually be closed when they're powered. Currently they're powered right now but they're open. Uh, basically this is just going to prevent people putting uh, levers and buttons next to your closet. So let's just go ahead and collect these back up again. Oop. And then what you want to do is place them in the opened state. So what you need to do is we're going to come to this left, uh, to this right pillar here. You want to make sure you place it on the left side of this block here so the hinges um, will actually be on the correct side. If you actually place it looking at this side of the block, the door is going to be on this side. We want it to make sure the door is on this side of the block. So make sure when you're placing it, you're placing a, you're right clicking the right side of this block here. And as you can see, um, it's now like flush right at the front here with the doors. Let's go back down into our hole here and complete what we uh, haven't finished. Um, actually we've done everything up here, down the bottom there. We need to come around the back here now. We're going to place a block just under uh, this pillar here. And then we're going to lead uh, some blocks going towards this dropper here. So two behind there and then one going down. So when you do that make sure you're crouching so you don't open up the GOI. Then we're going to place one coming diagonally up to the right of this block here. So place one there temporarily, then place one to the right. Destroy this block. We're going to place a block in this corner and then one going forward. Now we're going to create a backing to our closet here quickly. So two blocks behind here and then place two blocks on top of each of those blocks there. Get our remaining six redstone, place it on those three blocks there and then around this corner here. Then finally, get your button, place it in front, or in front, yeah, on top of this dropper there. And then our armor stands, what we're going to do is hop up on the top here. So temporarily, what we're going to do is place two blocks on top of these ones at the back there. And then you can right click them, and then your armor stands will go down behind the doors there. Then you can destroy this. Now believe it or not, that is the construction complete. What we've actually got to do now is configure it. So this is where you can decide what your password actually is. So you're going to need to get uh, an anvil, 18 pieces of paper and 4 blocks of your choice. I've just gotten cobblestone. So we're going to place our anvil down here. And what you want to do is rename, rename this 18 pieces of paper here to basically your password. So hmm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling crackers today. So that's going to be our password. And then what you want to do with this four um, cobblestone or blocks of your choice, whatever you've got, is you just, you just want to rename this to a random um, string of characters. So you want to do like all these just random stuff. Basically something you wouldn't want anybody to be able to guess. So I'm sure nobody would be able to guess that. And then you want to open up this bottom hopper here. In the four remaining in the four last slots, you want to place your four cobblestone. And then in the first slot, you want to place your 18 pieces of paper. Now what we're going to do real quickly is just rename this 64 pieces of paper to, ch uh, to crackers. Now if we go ahead and we throw this piece of paper into this hopper here, it's not actually going to work because we've still got one last thing to do in this hopper. Uh, in this dropper behind here, behind the torch, you want to get out a sword or something that can only stack up to one. Place that into this dropper here. If we go ahead and we do that again, have a look at that. The door's now open. We press this button here. 
and then the doors are now closed. Now, we can't actually open the door by pressing this button, you can only do it with the uh, piece of paper there. So how cool is that? Now before I go ahead and decorate and cover this up, I want to teach you guys how this actually works, and I would say the functionality of this is quite simple. Let's go ahead and let's start with the password system here. So this is a very basic way to uh, create basically a password or a payment system. But what we do first is when we actually throw in our crackers here, it goes into this top hopper. Now it's only going to be sucked into the second hopper if one of the items above is the piece of is a piece of paper that's named crackers. Now why are we named this for cobblestone here to a random stream of characters is because we don't want anybody to basically be able to um, throw like a different item in such as this piece of cobblestone like um, if we didn't rename this somebody would be able to put in cobblestone but because it's got a very unique name uh, it's going to be pretty much impossible for somebody to guess that so any cobblestone in this top hopper won't be sucked in but once that piece of paper, let's say it's correct, um, when this reaches 19, um, this comparator here is going to start sending out a signal strength of 2. So right now it's only powering this one piece of redstone dust. When it powers the second one, it's going to turn off that redstone torch. Um, if you remember, it's actually under this block here. It's going to turn that off, which unpowers this redstone here. That allows one of these pieces of paper to go down into the chest below, so it resets back to this um, state that you see right here. When this is unpowered, it unpowers this repeater here, which powers this torch up, and in this dropper here we've got a torch, so when that turns on, it's going to send this sword here into this dropper um, just in front of it. This comparator here is going to detect that there's a sword inside of this dropper, so it starts sending out a signal strength of 2, which is going to power these two pieces of redstone dust here. This then powers these both repeaters, turning off these torches, and then that allows the doors to open up. Then when we press this button here, this is the reset button, um, let's say we throw like our password in real quickly, and then we throw it in again, that's not actually going to close it because um, that's literally only powering this dropper here to close it we've actually got to press this button here and then what that does is it powers this dropper here which I had the sword in and puts it back into the original dropper over to the right now if you press this button that won't actually open the doors up because we need to be powering this right dropper here to open them up and that can only be done through the password system so hopefully that explains how it works then obviously the last thing you'd want to do as well is put your armor on your stands but that's going to end off this tutorial today guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure you go ahead and hit that like button if you have any suggestions for redstone tutorials let me know down in the comments below because I do read them and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all my latest redstone tutorials and I will see you guys later bye